Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for August 29th to September 4th. Listen, Capricorn, sun and rising. I do a traditional Celtic cross spread. It's what my clients prefer. And uh, listen, I also use astrology in my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and get a little bit more specific with your reading. And the only reason I do that is because I want the reading to feel more personal to you rather than a general spread. Now, Capricorn, this week, August 29th, September 4th, listen, not a lot happening like uh, this week except for one thing i'm going to point out capricorn you're going to love it you're going to love it more than you love oreos okay so i want you to circle it on your calendar september 1st the very first day of september oh my goodness mars is going to sextile jupiter okay now if you don't speak astrology it's fine mars the planet of action all right jupiter the planet of growth prosperity profit good luck oh my goodness they're basically making out in the sky. So, when that happens, good things come, all right? That's gonna be a great day, so I want you to circle it, okay? Especially because um, a lot of things that you have been looking for in work could come to fruition, all right? There's a lot of action that's happening or in uh, Gemini with Mars and Gemini in your sixth house, okay? Um, also, uh, with especially at home too there's some stuff going on at home because Air, uh, jupiter and aries in, in your fourth house as well so there's this week attention on home family partners all right uh and you know that you're probably going to travel soon right that we're in virgo season and we did have that new moon in virgo and capricorn listen that is your ninth house so you may be traveling uh you may be traveling, all right? Uh, or you may be working with people overseas. Uh, also, publishing is ruled there. So if, are you looking to hire someone? Uh, like a writer or an editor? Or maybe you are looking to launch a blog or a website or, uh, anyway, there's, there's a lot happening. But anyway, this is why we do tarot, to get to the bottom of it and to see what's going on for you. Sad, uh, Capricorn, are you ready for your reading? Listen, I am in a really good mood today. I am in a really, really good mood. It is a really great day here in Brooklyn. Let's get started. I Look at that. I'm already starting to put your cards out without even going through my like spiel. And my spiel is, <laughs> of course, I repeat that I do the traditional Celtic Cross spread, which is what my clients prefer. If you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. Secondly, um, actually, Capricorns, I still get um, from y'all a lot of questions about the rising. You definitely should read your rising now. I'm not asking you to read your moon and your Venus and all that. Just read your rising, okay? Because whenever I get a new client, I actually do their birth chart, all right? The rising, you really need the rising to read the birth chart. Everyone's unique. All Capricorns are unique. Everyone has a very unique birth chart, okay? And it really is like astrology is like a jelly donut. If you're a Capricorn sun, that's the jelly dough is your rising, all right? Two go hand in hand, all right? Capricorn, how many times have you actually read your horoscope and you're like, well, none of this is really happening for me or relevant. It's because it's happening in your rising. All right, Capricorn, I like what I see here. I'm really happy for you. This is going to be a week, okay? This is going to be a week. Boom. You got the emperor, all right? Emperor came in your past, so listen, here's the thing. Capricorn, you love, love being in a, power, a powerful position. You love, y'all are authoritative. I think there was research done in terms of, uh, there was a breakdown, and you can Google this, uh, in terms of leaders and CEOs out of the world. Capricorns were in, the, like, uh, they broke it down by uh, signs. I think it was like Virgo, Capricorn. Anyway, y'all make really great leaders and CEOs. You deserve to sit in the throne, okay? You deserve to call the shots. You deserve to make the calls. You have so much power and authority. If you're a dad, which um, I don't get a lot of male um, viewers, but if you are a dad or if your husband or your partner, listen, if... <sighs> They're doing a great job, all right? Now, if you have a great relationship with your father, because the emperor is the dad, 
right? The dad of Terra, all right? So there could have been a lot of energy around there. Remember, I said Jupiter and Aries is in your fourth house, your domestic sector, okay? So there could have been some sort of interaction or some uh, something that was conclusive, but in a good way. I'm not getting any negative energy toward that. This is all very positive, okay? Now, that brings us to the Page of Swords. Hey, I love this for you, Capricorn, okay? Now, it looks like this week you're going to take on something new. It looks like there's something new that you're thinking about, all right? Paige is a newbie, still in the royal court. There's, He's the most enthusiastic. He's the most eager. He's ready to go. He's ready to learn. He's the one that when y'all are, when people go camping, let's say you're going on a camping trip and you've already uh, hiked 20 miles and you take a little break, your 30 minute break, he's the guy that like, two minutes into it, it's like all right y'all let's go 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 he's got that kind of energy like really 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 just ready to move forward okay you can see him holding the sword he's so eager all right so eager and this is you and remember swords is the mental suit okay so you could have this idea that you are uh thinking about that you're moving forward with or you're wanting to move forward with page of swords is also a green light if you have that idea Boom, go for it. It's also, you know, the messenger. You could be starting a new job. You could be getting a message this week about a new job or even, you know, new home. Hey, something new is coming in and it's going to definitely affect what's up here. Listen, you got the seven of ones in your challenge area. So here's the thing, Capricorn. You're sitting in that throne, okay? You've got great ideas. You're enthusiastic to go forward this week, all right? This does look like a funny card, right? It does look like a funny card. Uh, it looks like a conflict card. It, at the end of the day, it kind of is, but it's really not. And it, I wouldn't even worry when it comes up in your challenge area. It just means whatever you have gone through recently people could be a little bit jealous of you all right capricorns you know how to handle that situation all right you know how to extinguish a fire you're good about that all right so if people come after you you've got this all right because think about this all right the seven of wands comes after the six of wands which is the victory card when we are victorious when we are successful sometimes people are a little envious sometimes people are a little jealous sometimes they may do things that are manipulative but and those are those people the wands coming after you but you're good you're good just stand your ground all right just stand your ground listen you're capricorns what did i say from the beginning y'all are leaders leaders you got this so not even a big challenge for you this week listen we know what you want all right you got the queen of pentacles now here's the thing about the queen of pentacles we all love the queen of pentacles okay she is very uh if you think about like you didn't get if you think about the kings and queens the kings are more external that's where their energy is the queen is more internal okay now this is very maternal as well but it's also being that person that you know takes care of others she pretty much knows the names of everyone in her kingdom okay she's that type of person but it's only because she likes to see things grow this is all about growth all right especially money she's rich okay so we know where your head's at you want things to grow you want things to blossom we, we in uh in terms of career okay money even tangible realities all right a lot of growth in this card even look an old bunny rabbit in the corner representing fertility now one last thing i'm going to tell you because this came up in your crown i want you to start thinking about the world that you want okay you're already doing it you're already doing it so good for you but capricorns if there are some of you who need that little bit of inspiration this card looks like it was looks like it was taken out of the page of a fairy tale okay now what is a fairy tale it's world building all right she has the resources to do it she has the money to do it she has the knowledge to do it this is all about world building start thinking about the type of world that you want in your life okay what is going to complete it what do you need in your life to be emotionally fulfilled spiritually fulfilled uh just 
fulfilled. All right, now, you did get the two of wands in the root of your spread. I get it, all right, Capricorn, I get it. Don't worry, we're cool. Listen, two of wands, you're planning, all right? Um, this is all about planning. You can see he has the, uh, the world in his hand. He's standing from a high place. Really good perspective, really good vision, right? One foot in, one foot out, all right? Look at the wand, one wand in, one wand out. So this is planning, okay? There's a lot of hope, a lot of growth, a lot of positivity here. I mean, you do see the roses, do you see? There's so much, even the red hat here, okay? Power, passion, all right? You're in a planning stage, okay? There's, especially with the Page of Swords, this is great, okay? And I love that for you. I love that for you. You know what I love more? Capricorn, I'm not even making this up. You saw me shuffle the deck. You, sh you saw me put out this spread. Listen, you did get the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I cannot even begin to explain how active this card. There's so much happening here, right? So much happening. I mean, we see the Pentacles arranged in the Tree of Life. We see the old man sitting in the old man young couple and then hidden in the corner here you see that little child that's three generations of play all right this came up in your future 10 is the end of the suit all right we are completing a journey capricorn there's something new all right something new happening in your life and i'm really happy all right this is a card of prosperity success financial success security Look how big that castle is, but listen, you also see the archway, okay? That really is a gateway to the next. Another thing I'm going to point out, you see the checkered wall? Hey, that really is another dimension there, all right? So, we're moving on. We're thinking legacy, all right? We're thinking legacy. A lot of y'all Capricorns are thinking about that, okay? For your future, for your children, for your parents, okay? especially with Jupiter and Aries in your fourth house. I love that. And work related as well. There's uh, so much you want to do. You have so many great ideas. All right. And you're thinking about the world around you. I love this Capricorn. This will be a great week for you. This will be a really great week for you. Um, let's. Yeah, I am like, I can't even I can't even. Uh, and a message for um, some Capricorns who are wanting to remote work, that just came through. Hey, you should be getting good news about that. Okay, now let's move on to your staff. Capricorn, if you uh, like this reading, it would be great if you like and sub subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. I, again, listen, I just started this YouTube channel. Um, in the spring, I'm starting to learn the ropes of how it works and the algorithms and all that. I got a microphone, I'm getting set up, all right? So uh, it'd be really great if you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you uh, leave any comments, and listen, if you don't even know what to leave as a comment, I just got a haircut, all right? So if you like it, you can leave a happy face, all right? If you don't like it, leave a um, car. <laughs> anyway Capricorn I love you and if you are a subscriber you know I love you to death I love y'all so much thank you for being here with me um, you're gonna love this too Capricorn this is a this is a good week for you I'm not gonna lie listen you got the hang man all right so as you move forward as you come to the end of this cycle but while you start thinking about home and family and what you want in your life, that world building, remember I talked about that, and these new ideas that you may have, uh, even a lot of uh, changes happening in work, okay? Uh, even just planning, you're in planning mode, all right? Think about having a new perspective, okay? Think about that. It might be helpful for you. That's why the man is hanging upside down. This has so much spiritual connotation it shows up in a lot of religious texts nothing new about this but the one thing that a lot of people don't know is that he put himself there nobody put him there he put himself there you see the halo around his head a lot of enlightenment you see that he's smiling all right why did he put himself upside down to look at 
the world in a new way, all right? This is all about new perspective. So Capricorns, if there are some things that have been, uh, let's say you were hitting some roadblocks, uh, maybe even mental blocks, uh, there are, they happen for a reason, okay? Sometimes, if you think about life, it goes in cycles, right? And not every cycle is the same, okay? We get older, we learn new things, we adapt to new things. Uh, sometimes the way that they, we think did things in the past just don't work the way they did anymore. So let's take a, just look at things in a different way, all right? That'll be very helpful for you. And hi, hello, Capricorn, look at you, all right? King of Wands. I love this energy. This is coming through in your external factors area. There's someone coming through um, that's going to help you in a really big way. All right. Someone, uh, I'm getting the energy that it's someone you know, but it could be someone, uh, listen, either way, at the end of the day, I say this is Steve Jobs energy. Okay. Steve Jobs was so admired, so inspiring. People looked up to him. He was the entrepreneur okay he didn't work for nobody else he did not work for it sat in that throne because he worked his butt off to sit in that throne this is this oh my goodness really really good positive energy coming your way in terms of your passions the things that you are excited about your ideas right uh also uh anything work related all right remember ones are also enterprise career work uh the things that we're passionate about but also like side hustles keep that in mind especially with mars going into gemini remember i did say all that activity in your sixth um house of work okay and then work listen capricorns y'all prioritize work the most out of any other sign okay it's important to you all right this is going to be really good for you. Someone's coming in. I love that for you. And he's going to be a very powerful person. Um, and when I say powerful person, listen. Did you see that? When I say powerful person, it doesn't even have to be male. This is just very masculine energy. Um, you saw that I clarified it and you got the Empress. Okay. Capricorn. Wow. Wow. I mean, y'all are super earthy. You know that, right? Earthlings. Now, the Empress, Miss Mother Earth here. Even Mother Universe, okay? Listen, this is all about abundance. This is, I mean, sometimes I say, if there was a perfect card, you got it in your external factors area, okay? You got it in your external factors area, listen, Capricorn. I love this for you. This is all about abundance. You can see Venus, the symbol of Venus all over her gown, even in that rock, okay? The heart-shaped rock protection, all right? Now this is, she's so nurturing and she's so connected to nature, all right? So connected to her world around her. I've already talked about the world building here, okay? I've already talked about that, but listen, uh, they're definitely, you are getting I don't want you to have any doubts, basically. There's nothing here that you need to worry about. This is possibly one of your best readings of all time. King of Wands and the Empress in your external factors area. Some, something's coming through. All right, something's coming through. And listen, uh, if you find out you're pregnant, I, you know, or uh, listen, leave a comment. I want to congratulate you. Someone you know could be also like pregnant. Uh, this is not only, you know, the, she is pregnant, right? So it, it represents a lot of, you know, like birth and new kids and whatnot. But it is also birth of ideas, birth of the three. What is three? Creation. All right. Think about it. Three, the, everything happens. The good, good things come in threes, right? Uh, but it's also representing creation, like um, birth, life, death. Listen. She is so in tune, and I also call her Mother Universe, okay? There is a reason why she has the 12 jewels in her crown representing all the constellations, right? And then her necklace, each for uh, the nine planets. I mean, you're golden. I'm very excited for you, Capricorn. Now, because I talk too much, I'm going to keep going. Queen of Cups, all right? I love this, all right? This is amazing. Uh, you got the Queen of Pentacles. 
you got the Empress, and you got the Queen of Cups. This is very, very, very watery. This is very emotional, all right? Now, it looks like at the end of the day, um, a lot of y'all want to be in a place where you're <sighs> chilling out a bit. Let's just keep it that way because y'all are very, I mean, like Capricorns are workaholics, right? And you do uh, tend to work a little bit more than other signs. But listen, now there's some of y'all, when I talked about family earlier, when I talked about home earlier, Queen of Cups, I call her the Mother Teresa, the Princess Diana, very nurturing as well, just kind of like the Empress here, okay? But this is someone who leads with her heart, okay? So, how great is it that you also got the Six of Pentacles, all right? You got this in your final outcome area, okay? That your final outcome. Six is the heart of the tree of life tree. Six is all about harmony. You see the scale in his hand. This is knowing the difference between, or not even the difference, but knowing the balance of giving and receiving, okay? This is someone who's very altruistic, very philanthropic. This is someone who's helping the needy. I don't get the energy that um, any Capricorns are in like really deep need of that help. But like I said, if you're there's something that you want to launch or if there's something family related happening that you may need like if you had a child or if your family's growing or if you're thinking about your future in terms of like investments and wealth and stuff like that they're so you people are coming through okay you got the king of wands and the empress in your external factors area but end of the day it's also you sharing the wealth that you have because Capricorns, you're amazing, okay? When I say sharing the wealth, again, it doesn't always, because it's pentacles, that's just very earthbound, okay? And you are earth signs, all right? It doesn't always have to, it doesn't mean that you're, uh, it sure means you can be donating now and helping people out yourself, but sharing the wealth in terms of the knowledge of knowledge you've gained, okay? That really helps other people, all right? Sharing the wealth in so many other ways, but at the end of the day, you are going to be feeling that personal success, that wealth you have. I'm very excited to see who comes through for you, okay? Very excited. Now, Capricorn, I love you so much. I think this is the longest reading I've done for you, This, or maybe not. I don't know. I talk too much, but Capricorn, have a great week. Again, if you're new to my channel, it would be great if you like and subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, I love you, and I love all my Capricorns. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. All right, bye-bye.